How's it going everyone? This is Childhood DVD Fan here and I am back with another video. It's been a while since you guys have seen uh, this carpet. This would be my basement carpet. Uh, this would be the same carpet you guys would have saw for the first video I ever did, but uh, that's pretty irrelevant to this point. Guys, I have been waiting for something like this for quite a while now and it is finally happening. And as you can see up top left, who this package is from, my good friend, Jeremy. Now, obviously, I covered up all the goodies, um, so you guys won't be seeing our addresses or anything like that. But, um, you know, he is just a great guy, um, and, you know, he's my little brother. You know, we've never met before, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, we, we're, we're very tight, um, and, you know, I, I trust him with everything, and he trusts me with everything, you know, um, and, uh, we finally have done our first trade. Now, you guys, I, obviously, if you've been watching his channel, um, I've gotten him, you know, a few nice things. Uh, the Best of Seasons 3 and 4, uh, the Go, Ho Go Hollywood DVD, because his uh, one episode, Helen Surgery, wasn't working. The Amanda Show, um, the Drake Bell intro, a few other things. Um, but um, Jeremy decided to open up to me about something private that... Um, I will not be talking to you guys about one of his interests. Um, and I told him that I had a few of those things lying around the house. Um, you know, so I said to him, I said, you know, what if we do a trade? You know, I'll send you down, you know, a few things. I, I, I gave him, you know, a huge, you know, uh, showing of, um, you know, what he was interested in, whatever. And he picked out a few things that he was interested in. Now, I just want to tell you guys right now that you will never, ever, ever see what those are because Jeremy wants to keep those private, um, which I completely respect. Um, you know, there's certain things he just doesn't want on YouTube, um, and that's going to be one of them. So you guys will not be seeing what um, I sent down to him. But I am free to um, show you guys what I got from him. Um, if you guys want to see what I've sent down to him, you can go check out the Best of Seasons 3 and 4 and the Amanda Show DVDs and a few other things that I've gotten him. Um, but this is the first time that I've gotten a package from him. Um, so I'm very excited to open this. So I will see you guys in a minute because I'm going to... Um, and there is one extra thing that I asked him to throw in there that I'm not going to show on camera. Although... It depends on if if it's just, you know, one thing, but there's a good possibility I'm not going to put that on camera. But um, anyways, be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. Um, I decided I, I, I looked at the uh, extra thing that I asked him to throw in there, and I'm not going to show that on camera. But I will show you guys um, the other things that I got. So he got me three things. Well, plus one, but, you know, I asked him for the other one. Uh, but... He got me three things, so uh, I see one of them right there, and I look. I think all of them are in this bag alone. So, um, one sec. All right, guys. So we are back now. Obviously, you all know what the first item is going to be before I pull it out of the bag, and I'm sure that some of you are wondering, um, don't you already have that? I do. If you guys remember. I actually sent this same CD down to Jeremy sometime, I'm going to say, uh, maybe late 2020. I can't even remember when I sent it to him. But the reason why I have it back is because um, the reason why I sent it down originally to him was because um, I think when he was in the process of moving, um, the CD got lost. Um, you know, he, he couldn't find his CD, so he was without the CD, so... As his older brother, I felt compelled to, um, you know, get him the CD. Well, his father actually ended up finding the CD. Um, and so when he told me this, I thought about one of my friends because I have had a friend who has been begging me, begging me to get him the CD. Now, the reason why he's asking me to do it is because one of my friends is... Um, He's got some issues in life, unfortunately. He's got some problems, and he, he, you know, unfortunately doesn't have the capability to go online and buy stuff and whatever. Um, so I told him, I said, look, I'll try to get that CD back for you. So this is going to be going to my friend. 
So I will show you guys the CD. Jeremy did say that he did replace the case because I, I did give him kind of a shitty case. I'll be honest. I did not give him that good of a case for the CD because I didn't have many CD jewel cases lying around. Um, but here it is. This is the same CD I sent down to him. Ooh, I'm going to say September. I don't even remember when I sent it down to him. It, it, time just flies by. But here's the CD. This is going straight to my friend um, who has been wanting me to get this because, you know, he understands that I can't, you know, get him all the DVDs and VHSs, you know, because um, they're very expensive. But, um, you know, I, I told him I could try to work out the CD for you. So, you know, and Jeremy did not have to do that. He did not have to send me back the CD. He could have kept the CD, but um, he, he was just uh, really nice. And um, I told him, you know, about my friend, you know, ask me for this. So this is going straight to him. And Jeremy, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. I have my own copy, but this will be going to my friend who will be ecstatic to have this. Now let's go on to the other two items. Now I see the one that I hope you guys didn't see. I'm going to save that one for last because one of them, I'm, I'm very, very surprised that he, he let go. I really am. Uh, but I will save that for the main event. So we have a um, Mijir bag. Is that how you pronounce it? Mijir? Mijir? I, I, I don't know. I've never heard of that store before. Um, so we will throw that off to the side. So he offered to give me an extra DVD. Uh, and he even said he included the insert in this. So, you know, props to him. And the DVD case is in really good shape. I don't see any nicks or bruises or anything. Um, I'm actually pretty um happy to have this um you know i don't really get too many compilation cartoon dvds um but this is nice to have um and he had two of them and he didn't also have to give me the insert but he's such a cool guy that uh he offered to give it to me um and i can't thank him enough so the first thing we have here and there's only two things um there were technically four, but one of them was for my friend. One of them was a personal thing, but two items about to show you. The first one here is Nicktoons Christmas. You got uh, SpongeBob, The Fairly Odd Parents, Cosmo and Wanda. I am not too sure who that is. I'll be completely honest. You got Timmy Turner. Ugh, I've seen him a, a million times. I think he's on Rugrats, or may maybe he's on something else. I can't remember, but I I've seen that. Yeah, Rugrats. Um, so, yeah, you've got four episodes. you got SpongeBob Christmas Who. you got Rugrats, Babies in Toyland, uh, Nickelodeon Rocket Power, A Rocket Xmas, and The Fairly Odd Parents Christmas Every Day. This is a 2003 release from Nickelodeon, um, 116 minutes. So this DVD came out the same year Jeremy was born, and like I said, he was very cool to... Uh, include the insert for me um because he knows how much i enjoy having inserts for dvds because it makes it feel complete and jeremy um you know he he likes the inserts too but he knows i'm more of a freak when it comes to these things more than you know he is um so uh you know which is a good thing for him you know i'm kind of a freak when it comes to this stuff but yeah we have the insert here you got other uh DVDs and VHSs. You got a VHS of uh, Rugrats Christmas. You got SpongeBob Hide and Seek. I remember I wanted that DVD all like forever as a kid. I, I never got that DVD, but I remembered wanting it so badly. Um, you got Rugrats Mysteries VHS and DVD. You got Lost at Sea, which I did have that DVD, but it got really destroyed. And then same thing with Tales uh, from the Deep. I also had that, but back then when I was a kid, I didn't take care of things as good as I do now. Um, you know, from time to time, I'll have an instant whatever, but I keep my DVDs in much better order. So let's take a look at the condition of the disc. Okay. Um, it's, I mean, it, it, it has a little bit of scratches, but it, it looks mostly like residue or maybe dust or, or something like that. Um, it doesn't look like it's anything that... Um, is not playable. I could I could probably clean this with some water. Um, I don't know if it's fingerprints or residue or whatever, but I'm sure I can clean this uh, with uh, some water. Um, although I'll try it out, you know, without doing that first and see if it plays back. But I'm pretty sure, you know, it'll play back. And if it doesn't, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But yeah, there is the uh, disc, Nicktoons Christmas with SpongeBob and 
one of the characters from Rugrats, probably the main character, but I, I really never watch Rugrats, so I can't tell you who that is. But yeah, we got a cool Nickelodeon cartoon um, Christmas compilation DVD set from uh, Paramount. And then the main event. I really was absolutely blown away. Um, although, I don't... Oh, that... Okay. I, I thought there was a pen mark on this for some reason, but it's actually... Okay. Um, but I, I was blown away when he offered to give me this because this is one of the DVDs that I've kind of been after. There's two of, of other DVDs from this uh, live-action show that I want to get. Um, and one of them happens to be the Burn On Demand uh, DVD, you know, with Amazon's program coming to an end. But, uh, you know, he said that he was willing to give this to me, and I, I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I was very surprised. I didn't think he, he'd give this to me, but he did, and he didn't have to do that. But, uh, you know, he explained that he's he can watch it on Hulu or, or you know, other places, and but he still didn't have to do that, but he did. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't really watch, like... <sighs> I've seen a little bit of the show when I was a kid. Like, I, I definitely knew the show, but I didn't watch it religiously because I was watching Drake and Josh and Zoe 101 and iCarly religiously. But I would catch this show from time to time, and um, now I can watch a little bit more. I do I do have the ability to watch it on Netflix because I have it, it's on Netflix, and um, I should probably catch up on Netflix. I'm sorry about all this crap that's here. But anyways, I know you guys are like, oh my god, you talk forever, just show the item. Okay. Big Time Rush, Season 1, Volume 1. I'm sorry about the glare. I was really like, wow, that is awesome that you were offering that to me. I was like, are you sure? You know, I almost felt guilty about taking this from him. I really did. Um, but he assured me that, you know, he was willing to let it go. And obviously, you know, if he really didn't want to let it go, he wouldn't have put it in the... Uh, box send it off to me um so big thank you to him now the two other big time rush dvds and it's kind of funny because they're all season one dvds but i'll explain the difference so you have season one volume one here and then there's a season one volume two that nickelodeon released but then amazon released the complete first season basically combining the two volumes into one but the difference between the season one, volume one, and season one, volume two, and the Amazon DVD is that the, these episodes are in full screen. The Amazon DVDs are in widescreen. These have extra features on them. The big time break with trivia option and photo flipbook that you would not get with the Amazon DVD. And also, I tend to notice this. I've seen this in iCarly and Victorious, but... Um, when I when I when I've watched the DVDs, it seems like um, when they release the episodes in HD, they cut out certain parts. So it's possible that these uh, Nickelodeon DVDs, um, the ones that are released by Amazon, have some things that um, from the original, like the original um, uh, airing of these episodes, that may have been edited for the. HD release and that was something I never really caught until I started watching iCarly I started noticing all the things that they took out from the HD episodes that you can only get with the full screen uh episodes so that's another thing I still you know I still want to get it just because it, you know it's all the same season there's certain things that you know the Nickelodeon DVDs have that the Amazons don't and then there's certain things the Amazons have that the Nickelodeons don't so it's still a good idea to get all the Big Time Rush DVDs, although they've only released Season 1 in the States. I know that they've released, I'm pretty sure, more seasons internationally. But, of course, because it's the United States, we never get the proper treatment because uh, they know that they've got us and they got to find a way to get other people. So they give them the gold shovel while we get the crappy turret on the side of the road. Anyways, opening it up... Um, so there are the two DVDs. Let's take a look at the condition. Um, you know, obviously I will I will check. You know, see if the episodes. Um, oh wow, look at that! I mean, that is you know very light. It's just a scratch, you know, around the disc. But maybe he watched it a few times, but nothing crazy at all. Uh, that's in really really good shape. Took very good care of that. 
and then you've got disc number two. And kind of funny that, you know, I'm seeing this Big Time Rush DVD in person and I have this because one of the first videos that I ever saw from Jeremy was this Nickelodeon collection. Um, and I remembered seeing this Big Time Rush DVD in that collection. Now, I think he has a video as unlisted, um, the one that I remember seeing from 2018. Um, so you can't find it unless you were to get in contact with him and he gave you the link to the video. Um and let's take a look at this number two. Oh, same thing. Fantastic. These discs are in fantastic shape. So, yeah, that is my package from my good friend, Jeremy. Um, thank you, brother, so much. You know, obviously, I'm going to uh, text you before you see this video. Um, and then I'll send you, obviously, the text of this video um, so you can watch it yourself. But um, just to recap one last time. We have Season 1, Volume 1. Um, we have the Nicktoons Christmas with four uh, compilation Nickelodeon cartoon uh, Christmas themes episodes. We have the Drake and Josh CD that I originally bought for Jeremy that since his dad found his original one, um, he was cool enough to give me back my CD. And now I can uh, put give this to one of my other friends and make someone else happy. And then obviously... Um, all right, I won't show you what's in here, but um, this is the extra thing that I asked him for. I'm not going to open it up and show you, but if you're really curious as to what it kind of is, uh, that, that's going to be a little bit private. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what I got from Jeremy. Thank you so much, brother. Um, you know, you are the man. Um, you know, I'm so proud of uh, all the work you're doing. I know you got a rough day tomorrow with SATs and and everything like that, good luck. Um, please go to, and I will put a link in the description to his channel, go check out Nostalgic Geek Fan. Um, I know that, you know, if you're a fan of mine, and if you're a fan of Jeremy's, you, you've heard of us talking about each other a million times, but, you know, I, I still can't emphasize enough just how awesome he is. Um, so please go check out his channel. Go to that link in the description below. Go in the comments and tell him that Childhood DVD fan sent you. Uh, and, um, yeah, so this has been Childhood DVD Fan. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video, and thank you once again, Jeremy. I really appreciate it, my brother. So long, everyone.